Hey everybody, another topic for us today from Winsome Witnessing, and we're going to look at chapter 14 today, which talks about the difference and the choice between sit-downs or drop-offs. Specifically, drop-offs are Bible studies where you go to the house, you get better acquainted by chatting with the person, and you exchange lessons with that person, giving them the next lesson in the series that you are doing with them, and you come each week. The sit-downs is where you actually take the study guide, you come to their home, and you sit down with them to go over the lesson with them in person. Now, both have some drawbacks and some tra and some pluses, but mainly, as the book says, and I agree, the sit-down Bible studies are preferable overall. But let me just uh, get into this a little bit here. First of all, the sit-downs allow you to connect more with the person. They allow you to um, ask for decisions and lead them more um, directly and more in person and personably with them as you go along. And you can also get a better sense of where they're at, vary things up a little bit, and that is important. You have to adapt as a Bible instructor with your student. And... You have to bear in mind, though, that it does depend somewhat which one you choose based on your comfort level in teaching that lesson. And the trade-off, though, is if you're not comfortable and you rather just prefer to drop them off and come back, get the graded lesson uh, from them the next time, which many of these lessons, especially from Voice of Prophecy, they do have a, a graded, grading sheet at the end, if that's what the approach you want to take. But the thing is, is if you only do that, you're not practicing and honing your skills in communicating Bible uh, teachings. That's something I've found that's been very helpful is explaining these topics helps me grow and helps me become a better Bible student and instructor myself. And you have to factor in the culture of your community. Um, you also have to factor into this whole situation, the receptivity of your student as well. Are they willing to have you sit in their home? I mean, that's a deal breaker right there if they're not willing. But if it's at all possible, just say, hey, I'd love to go over this lesson with you and answer any questions you might have. Or let's study this together and we can learn as we go along. Those are just some ways you can approach this and ask, can I sit down with you and go over this lesson with you? And there's something about a sit-down study that allows you, as an instructor, to look into the eyes of your student, to smile, to have a personable um, atmosphere that allows them to know that you're sincere, that you're earnest about these truths, but you're also not one who's trying to manipulate the situation in any way. Instead, you're there as a fellow pilgrim to help them understand what the Bible teaches and... It's disarming. It allows them to know that you're on their side and that you're not trying to just uh, give them studies and just try to fill them with information without building that relationship. But here's the big thing. Two very important points. First of all, remember that when a big challenging truth does come up in the lessons, they're a progression as you understand, and you get to that point where there's a challenging topic to cover, you must always... Be there and make yourself available as a teacher to them, or as a friend to them, I should say, in that you're inspiring confidence, being willing to answer questions, you're there to listen to them and the challenges that they're facing with this particular topic. That's very important. And what it boils down to as well is, friends, let's see this as a privilege of partnering with God and also allowing ourselves to experience to a very, very small degree that same spirit of sacrificing our own comfort and even convenience for someone else who's learning about Bible truth. That's a very important point as well. So in a nutshell, that is chapter 14 from the book Winsome Witnessing. Thank you.